The Birch Aquarium hosting a ton of new events for families this spring. Heather Lake is live there with a sneak peek. Uh, good morning, Heather. This is always a fun one. Oh, so much fun and such a gorgeous view. The surf, absolutely beautiful this morning. The views from Birch Aquarium are some of my favorite. It's been a while since I've been out here, so I just wanted to give you guys this picture and let you enjoy the view. Um, one of our cameras, Chrissy Russo, I actually found the camera out here that we use for our weather reports because we have a cool Osprey cam out here, and I was like, oh, where is that? I can see it from here, and the nest is built, which is pretty cool. So um, it's a beautiful day for surf. It's gorgeous out here. We're going to talk about what's going on at Birch. You can come out here, let the kids play, and enjoy this view. I'm a parent and I'm like any time that I can just sit here and take in all this where the kids run around I am all in put your hand up count me in Carrie let's talk about the egg extravaganza that's happening here we've got kind of an example of what's going to be going on here so celebrating eggs and animals that hatch from eggs all um, under the water though Yes, the spring is a really exciting time in the ocean and here at the aquarium. So we're celebrating babies and eggs here at the Birch Aquarium. Okay, there's going to be a scavenger hunt. So they won't actually be, you don't need to bring your basket and you don't need to um, hunt for the eggs and put them in there. They're actually going to be in the water. How does that work? Yes, so we'll have um, eggs hidden in some of our aquariums around the building um, and you're going to be doing an underwater egg hunt. So you're going to search for those um, and f kind of complete a scavenger hunt, unscramble some letters and kind of get the answer um, to your scavenger hunt. Okay. Okay, fun. So they'll all have some letters on them, and you'll look for those letters. Um, how many days? When can you do the extravaganza? Sure. So extravaganza will be two weekends in April, April 9th and 10th, and April 16th and 17th. Do you need to RSVP, or you can just show up for the day? Um, so you're going to want to make an advance reservation for our tickets um, on our website. So you can go to the aquarium.ucsd.edu for more information. Um, and the activities run from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily. Okay. Sounds good. I love it. Let's talk about some of these eggs. Very different than our normal Easter eggs, right? So, um, who do we have here? So, those are some um, shark eggs. So, people don't always realize that sh some sharks lay eggs. These are from our horn sharks, the spiral ones. But there's not actually babies inside These are there, not right? Babies. Okay. So, just like a chicken egg that you might see, oh, cool. um, sometimes you have eggs that are it's just that kind of outside that casing that mm -hmm. we've got here. That's the spiral, and inside you would find the yolk like you would in a chicken egg, okay. um, and the baby if there if there was a yeah. Baby so, in there. unfertilized eggs is what we like right. to say. This one's cool. So, I've actually studied this with my son. It's called a mermaid's purse, right? What kind of sh shark uh, matches from that? Yeah, so that's from a swell shark. Um, cool. So we have swell sharks here in the aquarium. Some of them are found in our kelp tank. Um, you can kind of actually see the yolk in there, that kind of dark circle that's in there. Um, and those, we've got a piece of kelp in there as well. So you can see how well that egg camouflages with the kelp. So interesting. Yeah, I've seen both of these. Now this one I've never seen. So what's in here? So Sure. So these are our um, squid eggs. Um, so here in San Diego, we have a lot of market squid in our local canyons, just right off our coast here. Um, and so the the squid will actually uh, come together and uh, lay their eggs out here. And you can kind of see these long um, cylindrical areas in which that have all the little eggs inside. Here, so I'll put that down so Zach yeah, can look here close sure. and see it for the kiddos. Maybe they're watching this morning and they yeah. want to take a look. That's that's kind of neat. So all of this will be on display. Yep. If someone wants to come out and see all of it, you can see the extravaganza. But you guys have so many cool new exhibits. You have a giant football fish, which is a deep sea creature that actually washed ashore in Encinitas, and now it's here. It's like kind of a new tenant, so to speak. Yes. So it's um, visiting us just for a little while here. Um, so it's a really great addition to Birch Aquarium and another fun thing to see while you come come visit us. Okay. So stick with us um, in the nine o'clock hour today. If the kids are at home, if they're home from spring break, we are going to go inside the oddity exhibit and we're going to show off that football fish. It kind of looks like an angler fish and so it's neat. It's got this little like antenna on the front of it. It's a really rare deep sea fish that you wouldn't normally see. So we're going to go inside, talk about that fish with the scientist that um, has been kind of studying it and uh, talk, tell the kids all the really cool fun facts about it. So stick with us in the nine o'clock hour. For now, I will give you this beautiful view again so you can take it all in, take a deep breath in. There's something, Shali, and I know you understand this, about places that have really great areas for the kids to run around and then really awesome areas right next to them where the parents can just kind of have a moment, yes. <laughs> a little breather, if you will. And Birch Aquarium definitely checks that box. A little combo of both. Yep. Love it. Heather, nice thank news. you.